everyone. Welcome to lectures by Aparna. This is the part one video of read only memory or ROM. So let's get started. In digital systems, memory devices are used to store information. These semiconductor memories are classified into two types. They are RAM or random access memory and ROM or read only memory. In RAM, you can read or retrieve binary information that is stored in it. And also you can write the information into it. So there is both read and write operation for it. Whereas in ROM or read only memory, as the name says, you can only read information from it. This means some binary information will be already stored or embedded in it by the programmer, by some hardware procedures. Now this data that is already there in the memory can be read or retrieved by us anytime. But we cannot write into it. And so this is read only memory or ROM. The block diagram of ROM is as shown. It is having K inputs and N outputs. The input coming to the ROM is address. It indicates the address from which you need the data. If suppose address coming to the ROM is 00011. So there will be a data present in it like. So here at the output the data that is present in that address you gave. So in the address you gave there will be a data present. So you get this data at the output of the row. So at the input it is address lines and at the output it is data lines. ROM is not having input data lines. There are no data lines at the input because it does not have write operation. So this 2 raised to k into n denotes the size of the row. If k is equal to 5 and n is equal to 8, so there are 5 inputs and 8 outputs. So 5 input address lines and 8 output data lines. So 2 raised to 2 raised to k by n is equal to 2 raised to k is 5 by 8 which is equal to 2 raised to 5 is 32. 32 by 8. So this is a 32 by 8 row. Means there are 32 memory locations in it. Like this, there are 32 memory locations and each memory location stores 8 bit data. So, for each memory location, the 5 address bits will make the address. So, here it will be 00000. In the next location, it will be 00001. Like that, there will be up to 11111. So, this is a random data that I have taken. The internal logic of a 32 by 8 row is as shown. There are 5 input address lines that are denoted by I0, I1, I2, I3 and I4. 8 output data lines are denoted by A0, A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6 and A7. The input lines I0, I1, I2, I3, I4 are given to a decoder and at the output of the decoder there will be binary numbers that are made using these 5 input lines. That is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 like that. So total there will be 32 distinct outputs from the decoder. So this will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Like that. So the decoder is a 5 by 32 decoder because it has 5 inputs and 32 outputs. So each output from the decoder represents a memory address. So each output from the decoder represents a memory address like this. 
So 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 is a memory address. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1 means decimal 3. So in the decoder output it will be here. Suppose the data present in it is this. This is just a random example that I have taken to explain. The programmer will already have put this data in this location. For logic 0, nothing should be marked and for once an into will be marked. At A0 for address 3, no connection because it is a 0. Now at A1, at address 3, you have to put an into. At A2, nothing. A3, nothing. A1, an into. A5, an into. A6, nothing. A7, into. Every zero in the data specifies no connection at that point. And every one in the data specifies a connection given at that point. So the logic zeros will be programmed by the programmer by blowing the fuse links at these points. So when the address comes at the input, suppose the address coming is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1. Means line 3 of the decoder will be activated. And all other lines will be de deactivated. So when line 3 is activated, a signal equivalent to logic 1 will be given to this line. Since there are connections at A7, A5, A4 and A1, a logic 1 will propagate through the connections to the output of the OR gate. So you will get a logic 1 at these data lines A7, a5, A4 and A1. Since at A6, A3, A2 and A0, the programmer had blown the fuse links and since there is no connection there, you will not get anything at the output. This will be taken as a logic 0 and hence you will get the data 1011000101 at the output data lines. So this is how data is read from the row when you give an address at its input. If this video has helped you, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.